Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. I love it. The TED Talk. Talk to me. How did that come about? And explain to me about TED Talks. I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was telling him about this podcast. And uh, he was like, you know how TED Talk Talks work right now? I was like, no, I don't. Like, when I see people on TED Talk, first of all, you have to have, you have to be doing something right oh, yeah, somewhere. Definitely. Or something probably went very wrong in your life. Yeah. And you turned it around in, in such a way yeah. to where they wanted you to speak on it. Yeah. Right? Something along those lines. And he was like, well, you know, like you can go to many lo- different locations for TED Talks. Yeah. I was like, huh? Yeah. Really? And he was like, yeah, they have one in Dallas. They have one here, there, and there. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to ask him about this because I was wondering, and I watched the entire thing. I didn't even think when I watched before, and before you speak on it, before I watched the TED Talk, I'm going into it thinking, oh, TED is going to, I meant TED. <laughs> Chris is going to talk, doing this TED Talk about his life. What led him up to this point? A lot of the things I'm gonna talk to him about. Yeah, he's gonna probably answer in this in this talk. He did that, but he did it in a way like spoken word. Like I didn't see that. Uh-huh. Like he wanted the crowd to get engaged. Yeah, I didn't see that. I haven't. I watched several TED talks. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen anybody get up there and do something like that. Yeah. So tell me, take me through the experience of how it came about. Yeah. And. Your approach to doing it was it something you had to debate about, or was it a no brainer? You're gonna uh, get up there and do spoken word. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so yes. So uh, TED Talks was a great experience, man. It really changed my life uh, in many ways. It mm-hmm. really, uh, it really put me on this on this different path that I had been on previously, right? You know, it really showed me that showed me a lot of things that were possible. I mean, to be on that TED Talks conference. Um, with all the folks that I was on there with, to be on there with, with like top engineers uh, and architects, architects around the country, to be on there with uh, with doctors and uh, with just these big name successful folks, and then in retrospect, I'm like, little old Chris James in 2015 has been, you know, and I had hadn't done as, nearly as much as I've done now, you know, but even back then. Somebody thought I was impactful enough to be on that platform, right? To be on the TED, TED Talk stage. Um, so yeah, man. So when when it, when news broke that TED Talks was coming to Arkansas, um, I was contacted by an organization, uh, a concert arts festival, uh, which is a dope uh, arts uh, festival organization that's in Arkansas now, uh, and they recommended that I meet with the. Uh, with the with the young man who was bringing TED Talks here, and uh, he and I met at a coffee spot, and we t- we t- talked we talked about my story and, w- and what I do and who I am and what I all contribute to the community as an artist and as an activist, and uh, and he invited me uh, to come on and speak, and I'm like yeah I'm doing it you know and then he told me the process that you have to write your speech out, uh, you have to deliver it verbatim. Like you can't go up there and freestyle like most of us do sometimes as motivational speakers. Go up there and you just got your outline. Like, no, you need to deliver your, your, your TED Talk speech, your presentation verbatim, right? Uh, so and then we have Prior? to. Prior? Yeah. And then oh, we, my and goodness. Then we have to go, you know, like a couple of days before the actual conference and practice on stage delivering our speech verbatim, right? And staying within the time limit that they gave us. Right. So uh, so it was so it taught me a lot, though, as far as presentation, which it paid off recently because I just won a ten thousand dollar competition, the big pitch, because I was able to explain my entire business, which in a two minute time frame uh, and get the message over. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So it really taught me how to like because in, as a motivational speaker, we're a lot like Baptist preachers. And a lot of times we just run over and we just we get all this fluff in our presentation. But Ted Talks really taught me how to how to trim it down and get be to precise. the point and be precise in my message and my delivery. Uh, so it was really good for me, man. Um, I loved it. Uh, I would do TED Talks again. Um, um, and, and, and a lot of folks don't know, like a lot of times, some pe- in many cases, people are invited to do TED Talks, but there are plat- most TED Talks platforms you can submit to be a TED Talk speaker. So you may have TED Talk Chicago, right? If you go to TED Talk Chicago's website, you can submit your talking idea. Mm. And if and if that board likes it, 
if it's you know if it's good, it's, you putting in your resume. It's like a job. You putting in for a job. You want an opportunity to speak on that platform. So if your body of work backs up that you're a value enough to deliver this type of idea to the world on the TED Talk stage, you can also get that opportunity, right? Uh, so yeah, you can submit. You know, and and, and it's and you may submit twenty times to twenty different TED Talks across the world, and you may get accepted for one. But if you're a motivational speaker, you owe it to yourself to, number one, build yourself a big enough name or, or to have a, a, an interesting enough idea to present on the TED Talks platform and submit it, you know, and you may get an opportunity to speak.